Hi there, welcome to my views and news, two new stories for you. Firstly, it seems that Ethiopia and Eritrea are back to square one. Eritrea suspended Ethiopian airline flights a few days ago. Now, another development indicate, indicates that uh, Relations are getting from bad to worse with every passing day. Phone lines have been cut off reportedly. Secondly, is Ethiopia transporting more weapons, weapon shipments to the Somali region of Ethiopia? Pictures are in circulation since yesterday showing large columns long columns of ethiopian military vehicles heading from a military base reportedly towards the somali region details for you in this video first of all ethiopia eritrea relations the two countries fought of wars too in the past we know and in 1998 they fought a war then four lines were cut off between the two countries so for 20 years ethiopians and eritreans were not able to contact each other Born connections were cut off. In 2018, PM Abi and Isa Sevoki, president of Eritrea, signed a peace deal. All lines were restored. For 20 years, the people of the two countries remained out of touch. And back then, if you remember that Ethiopian airlines uh, obviously was not allowed to fly in Eritrea. Era of reconciliation began in 2018. It seems that it has ended. So far, it's not that tomorrow a war is going to break out between Ethiopia and Eritrea. No, but they are back to the era of uh, Cold War, which could turn into active hostilities. Now, the new reports indicate that Ethiopia Eritrea phone lines have once again been cut off. Eritreans cannot contact Ethiopians and vice versa. And we must not forget, by the way, that there are uh, tens of thousands of Eritreans in Ethiopia. Refugees. Uh, who are here, who enter Ethiopia. Sometimes they use Ethiopia as a transit. They want to go to other countries from Ethiopia. And sometimes they want to be in Ethiopia. They think that Ethiopia has more economic opportunity. It means these tens of thousands of Eritreans in Ethiopia, they cannot, they cannot contact their loved ones in Eritrea uh, by phone. I don't think there is large Ethiopian population in Eritrea. Uh, so Eritreans will suffer more, Eritreans who are in Ethiopia. So during the 20 year period of hostilities, phone lines were cut off, Ethiopian airlines was not allowed to fly, diplomatic relations were cut off as well. Now, phone lines cut off. Ethiopian airlines stopped from flying in Asmara. Diplomatic ties not fully cut off, but uh, Eritrean embassy in Addis Ababa has scaled down its operations. And a few days ago, we reported that Eritrean ambassador to Ethiopia went to Eritrea 
around two months ago and he has not returned. Ethiopian ambassador to Eritrea's activities also very limited. All that is not a good sign for peace and stability in the Horn of Africa. These two countries have fought. These two countries have fought direct wars, proxy wars. They backed uh, armed groups against each other. They saw that. Uh, they did not benefit from the wars. They weakened each other. They mobilized their people against each other. In the end, what did they achieve? Nothing. But uh, it seems that they're back to the square one. Let's hope that uh, somehow there is some intervention and the two sides talk. When Communication channels are cut off. It always leads to coldness in relations and that can turn into further escalation. I think first step is restoration of communications on some level. Either PMRB and Isasavoki or some delegation from the two sides, they should meet at least. Communication should not be cut off. Second viewers, new pictures have emerged showing the movement of Ethiopian military columns towards the Somali region. Uh, the pictures have been in circulation since yesterday. Long columns of Ethiopian military vehicles and heavy weapons have been seen on a highway in. Uh, the Oromia region. This highway uh, is from Addis Ababa to Adama. Addis Ababa to Adama Express Highway is the place where these uh, columns of uh, military vehicles have been seen. It seems that these military vehicles departed Bishofto base. And from there, the, the, the supplies departed for the Somali region of Ethiopia. Ethiopia is uh, sending uh, reinforcements and new deployments to the Somali region. If you remember a few days ago, Ogaden National Liberation Front confirmed mobilization, deployment of Ethiopian military in Somali region. ONLF said that uh, it was as if Somali region was coming under martial law. Ethiopia is establishing new military bases in Somali region. It is strengthening Gode's uh, military base too. Why? Because uh, Egyptian troops are coming in Somalia, firstly. Secondly, Ethiopia wants to consolidate its control of uh, uh, some facilities in Somalia. Thirdly, Ethiopia wants to make defensive deployments on its side of the border. If all Ethiopian troops have to leave uh, Somalia, though it is not very likely because some Somalia the regional states are opposing the withdrawal of Ethiopian military. But if all Ethiopian troops have to leave Somalia, Ethiopia will deploy these troops to the border, to Ethiopia-Somalia border, because border cannot be left unguarded. Al-Shabaab has been trying to penetrate Ethiopian territories more than a year ago. It entered the Somali region of Ethiopia. This large-scale movement of Ethiopian military into Somali region is linked to the security situation in Somalia. Thank you for watching.